Find that jab, throwing the right hand, found a the hole for that right hand after the fourth round, and he just keeps popping it in there, turning that wrist, oh and oh popping. My. Let's go to the corner. Here's some of the action right here, round number eight. There's that jab, there's the right hand. Completely turning the head of Badak. Colonel, what stabbed on the part of Badak? This guy can take a shot. He can take a shot, but I don't think he's feeling too well. I'm watching him in his corners. You folks at home watch the replay. This guy looks like he's really, really exhausted right now to me. And again, the humidity here, brutal, brutal humidity. Hey, Maydeck right now is running on pure courage and pure grit. Not feeling well at all. All right, here we go to round number nine. This might be the round for Alfredo Vasquez. Maydeck looks like a beaten fighter to me. As tough as he is, he took a lot of punishment in that last round. He might have one last go at it to see if he can stop this guy because he's at a territory now where he needs to stop Vasquez, I think, to win the fight. And that... Not very good English, but that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't? <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> Sorry for all you mothers and dads that don't want your kids speaking bad, but I've heard a lot worse English than that on television. <laughs> We're not journalists, all right? We've already clarified that's that. Right, right? That's right. We're not that's journalists. Really. We're entertainers. That's right. Yeah, Dig look at Basket now, digging out of the body. Like, I, I, this is the place where I think he needs to go now. Go to that body just like he did against Sonsona. He dropped Sonsona with a left of the kidney. Bedek is to the point of exhaustion where he comes in now, he, he comes into the kill zone and he's not throwing like he was in the early going. And that's fatigue. He's a he's really been, been beaten to this point. And Vasquez, uh, he drops a couple more of those powerful right hands and he will get this guy to go. I give Bedek all the, uh, just all the admiration in the world because he has been some sort of tough character. But it hasn't worked out tonight. His fight plan, whatever it was, uh, he started out decently and had his best round of the fight in the third. And since then, especially in the fifth round where he was staggering again in the eighth round, he was out on his feet, but hasn't been off as yet. Well, his plan seemed to be a very complicated because he wouldn't disclose any of it to us at all. I mean, it was like it was top, top to secret stuff, you know, but I mean, bottom line, he came out trying to do what he thought he was going to be able to do, and that is to go ahead and work behind no, no, that jab. No. But again, at five, three and a half, that was not going to happen. And especially when you're going up against, against a guy who's actually quicker than you are. You notice that Badek has taken very deep breaths. Maybe he can get a second win, maybe not. Vasquez is kind of taking this round off as well. With only a minute to go, let's see if he finishes very strong here to make it a definitive round for himself. Because this is a cruise control round for both guys, sort of. One is forced, the other is by design. And the only shot Badak has here is to make it a street fight. Make it a street oh, fight. Oh, that's it, Benny. You're Go absolutely inside, right. inside, inside, you punch your head right on his chest and make it, make it a brawl. That's the only chance that he's got right now, but I don't think he's got enough left in his gas tank. This guy's running on pretty much on fumes right now. And he gets off a couple of shots, but there's no real power behind him. They look better than they are. So I'm going to give you the obvious question now. 232 amateur fight. Thinks he stayed in there too long? That's nah, hard, to, hard to judge, you know. Very hard to judge. Some guys stay in there too long. But, I mean, he's trying to load up load up shots that you don't do in the amateurs. I mean, he's fighting like a professional fighter, Benny. I think, anyway. But I just think no he, body shots. Yeah, I, I just think he's going to get some much better fighter than Vasquez. I think Vasquez is a more gifted fighter. And he certainly is out boxing. I mean, Bayback, you can't give him that round, and Vasquez practically took that round off. I got it 79-82 with three rounds to go, so Vasquez can stay on cruise control, and this guy looks like a beaten fighter. And here's some of the action. Ninth round, and again, Badak has it, had his moments when it seemed like Vasquez was kind of taking that round off, but when he needed to, there it was. But see, that's right. If he would stay down there and stay down, crouch down right there. But as soon as he moves away, then he becomes an open target for Vasquez to go ahead and hit him. Good right hand. 
We're coming up to the 10th round. This is scheduled for 12 rounds here at the Ruben Rodriguez Coliseum in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Our principals in there, the world champion, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. in the white trunks. In the black with the white and red trim is Zolt Badak from Hungary, living in Germany. Badak has had his moments in the fight. He had a very good third round. He's fought valiantly from time to time. He's landed some decent shots, but he hasn't been able to box with uh, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. And we talked about his second win. He definitely got a second win. But is that going to be enough for him to be able to go ahead and slug out a win or maybe drop Vasquez Jr.? And I don't think he can. Well, his only way of winning this fight now would be by a knockout, according to the way we have it. And I expect the judges have it very similar to the way we have it. So oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Yeah, I think he got hit with a pretty good shot there. That was a left hand. A Vasquez is trying to finish him off here. Zolt is trying to hang on, and he can't do it. Vasquez moves in. Come with the upper cut of the body strong. He might be able to finish him off. That's the right hand. That's going to be it. Oh, he doesn't stop the fight. He goes down to the fourth side. He counts up to five. And six will take the stand. It looked like the referee was going to stop the fight. Yeah, they threw the count. And now they come up on the apron from the first And that means the fight's all over. The corner of Vedic says that's enough. And it'll be a 10th round technical knockout victory for Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Vedic was game. He got knocked down for the first time in the 10th round. But it wasn't meant to be. Vasquez eventually outboxed him and then hurt him in the 10th round. The corner of the Vedic saw how injured he was and said that's it. They went up on the apron. They used the term throwing the towel in, which they did, but that doesn't stop the fight. When you walk up in the apron, the judge signals to the referee that they want the fight stopped, and that's what happened, and the fight is over. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., extraordinary, because in all fairness, the jolt uh, made that. He came out here to fight. He threw a lot of power shots. He did the best he could with this guy. He landed a few power shots after three rounds. It looked like it was getting interesting, but by the fourth round, Vasquez Jr. began to take over, winning four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine on our scorecards, and then he stopped them in the tenth round. So, an extraordinary victory for Wilfredo Vasquez. Here's the end of the fight now. Jab, jab, and the straight right hand he walks into, and at this point he's out on his feet, then he takes a shot up behind the right ear. He's falling into the ribs, a pushing left hand. This fight now is in jeopardy of being ended here at any moment. The left hook lands, a digging body shot, a very hard left hand, a glancing blow with the right, and then a big right hand there. Still not off his feet yet. That's how tough this guy is. But he's not able to absorb it. At this stage, you can't see it, but his legs are totally gone. Vasquez right on top of him as Badek, how he stands up and throws another punch beyond me. And now the referee is looking to stop the fight. Vasquez trying to line up one big shot, and bang, there it comes right there. Big right hand. The Badek still won't go. This one spins his head. And at this stage, the referee is thinking he should stop the fight. Instead, he pulls back the champion, Vasquez, and he begins to count. Badek is looking to his corner for help. After that one that spun the head and finally drops him. That was only the first knockdown of the fight, and that's all the knockdowns there would be in this fight. As tough as Badek was, he wasn't able to hang in there with Vasquez, and the big power shots in the end ended it. And that's all she wrote. Another angle, boom, there's the big one that eventually ended the fight as he crumbles down to the canvas and there's the champion wilfredo vasquez well benny ricardo standing by and as soon as they let me know benny's set we'll have our interview with benny ricardo and wilfredo vasquez jr we still need to make this official and get the announcement from jimmy lennon jr i don't see jimmy around right now when i see jimmy we will make it official there's Jimmy Lennon. Okay, we're set, Jimmy. Let's make it a bit. Damas y caballeros, tenemos el tiempo. Un minuto. 12 segundos in round number 10. With a time of 1 minute 12 seconds in round number 10. A referee in charge, Jose H. Rivera, stops the contest. 
El ganador por knockout técnico. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Wilfredo Papito Vasquez Jr. All right, Benny is standing by, so Benny, go ahead and let's have the interview. Mario.